yeah <laughs> you can tell by the intro already i'm just i'm just feeling a certain way guys I'm just not very motivated just not very energetic not very positive someone actually commented in yesterday's video they missed when i said don't forget to remain positive productive and progressive I haven't, I haven't been saying it because I haven't been feeling it and I don't want to lie, you know? I mean, I could still say it to motivate other people, but I mean, it's hard to motivate other people when you yourself are like a freaking mess and a half, right? I'm just, I don't know. I'm just, I cannot deal. I need, like, when I get into these funks, I cannot deal with other people because I know that I'm going to cause conflict. I know that I'm going to cause arguments. And I know that I'm going to cause probably even an altercation you know because it's just very i don't know it's just hard to explain and um i just feel very argumentative very combative passive aggressive um just not overall healthy mentally in that sense because mental per a mentally healthy person wouldn't feel all that right I don't know. Someone said it might be the Ozempic. I'm going to bring that up with my doctor when I see him. Um, but also at the same time, I feel like it's just stemming from plateauing with Ozempic, stemming from all my friends being assholes, stemming from being alone, not lonely, but alone. And stemming from still with the like self-esteem issues, even though I've progressed in terms of weight, I have plateaued and I am, haven't, I think I've plateaued like for the last at least two to three weeks. So I'm like, so in reality, the Ozempic that I've been injecting myself has been a waste, you know, it's a waste. So I'm going to take, I'm going to do my own due diligence and move myself up to maybe 0.75 just so it's not a big jump from 0.5 to 1 because I'm going to see my doctor next week on a Wednesday anyway so I'm going to let him know I moved myself up I self-diagnosed myself because it's been a while since I've lost weight um but yeah so I, I think it's going to be fine I think I'm going to move up anyway I ended up picking up my Ozempic today uh this is this was $248.44. And this pen has... How many milligrams does this pen have? Um, it's a two milligram pen. Dang. So if I go up to one milligram, that means two... That means this pen would be only good for two weeks and then so basically i'd be paying like 500 dollars a month oh my god i cannot afford that i cannot afford that oh that is so frustrating okay that just kind of put me in an even a worse mood because it's a two milligram pen i'm on 0.5 so this should last me a month That is quite the predicament we're in. So it's basically I have to work harder. I have no other choice. I have to cut back on other luxuries like Starbucks. But to be honest, like I know like I get flack. Well, actually nobody has given me flack for buying Starbucks and being broke. But um, like to be honest, Starbucks gives me that small bit of happiness every day. You know, I didn't have it today actually. So but like when I'm out and about and I'm sipping my sipping on my Starbucks, it gives me some glimmer of positivity and joy in this world, you know? So to me, it's worth that $4. It's worth that $7 if I get the sh sh shaken oat espresso or whatever. So it's basically like, to me, it's more of a health benefit <laughs> than a financial deterrent in my mind anyway. I didn't have it today though, just because I didn't have time to go and I ended early because I was feeling like a certain way. But okay, I never even like, I never even took that into consideration. Like I cannot move up to one milligram then. Like I can't, ah, fucking wasp flying in my face. 
So I did not take that into consideration of having to pay more. I thought these pens were more than two milligram. So I would have to get like a four milligram pen and that would cost me $500 pretty much is what it would cost. Yeah. I don't think that's an option right now. So I'm going to have to just make do with a 0.5 or if anything, go up a 0.75, so at least it's an increase, right? Because like I said, I feel like I've plateaued. Um, yeah, I think for now I'm just gonna stick at, I might just stick to 0.5 for at least the next month and just change my eating habits a little bit more. It's just it's discipline, self-discipline. I just need to fucking, be self-disciplined but sometimes it's hard when you have that food noise that food noise is a motherfucker okay that food noise causes such a huge distraction in your head and then you wonder what you're gonna eat how many calories are things like today i bought freshy again because i knew that i was getting food noise and that actually filled me up but then like after eating, I ate like three hours again later. So, I mean, it was healthy. But it's leftovers that I cooked yesterday. So it's not like I'm eating unhealthy stuff. But I just don't want to be eating so much stuff. That's my whole problem is I'm a volume eater. Sometimes I'm just recording things just to record things and upload them. I know a lot of you appreciate it and I thank you. You know, when you like the videos and comment, like it gives me the motivation to actually do the videos. But to be honest, the last three, four videos didn't even hit a thousand. And that's so deterring. It's so disappointing. And I get it. Like sometimes the topic of choice is just not interesting to some people. But I don't know. I, I don't know what else to do. I don't know. Well, the good thing is with me and my life in general is that whenever I'm going through something, it always manages to work itself out. Like it always does. I've never had an instance where it never did work itself out. So at least I kind of have that superpower, <laughs> but yeah, just very unmotivated, very unpositive, very unpositive, very <laughs> negative and a little erratic. I don't want to thrift tomorrow. I might go to just one or two places and that's it, but I don't think I want to thrift tomorrow. But you subscribe to me for realness and this is the realness of it is that not everything is hunky dory. People go through ups and downs. People go through challenges physically, mentally, psychologically. And that is just the reality of it. See, maybe that's why I don't have a boyfriend right now. Because if I had a boyfriend and he was pissing me off, I'd literally just break up with him. If I had a boyfriend, I'd be like, fuck off. I'm breaking up with you. <laughs> anyway.